Okay, in Power Director 17, we're going to teach you guys how to stabilize your video. Now, in this situation, I've got a GoPro 5 here on my shoulder on my backpack. I've got a little tiny microphone, as you can see there, and it's in a special case which actually holds that brick. And this is using a backpack mount that sits on my on my knapsack. Now, if this getup looks pretty cool to you. I'll have the links in the bottom if you want to pick this stuff up. But what I'm kind of curious about, being it is a GoPro 5, is when I walk, is there going to be a bunch of jitter? And I'll show you what that footage looks like. And how much can I do in post, in PowerDirector 17, where I could smooth out the video? Now, GoPro 7 apparently has really good stabilization where you don't need a gimbal. But this is GoPro 5. So if you've got a four or five or six, I mean, if you could buy the pack mount, a little microphone and this little case, and boom, you're off and running, can you use the GoPro you got now and then stabilize it? That's what I'm gonna figure out and I'm gonna show you how we did it. All right, let's get some footage of it, shake it around. Okay, I've set it up for what I'm guessing looks pretty good. Maybe I could bring it a little bit more out front here kind of pointing out in front of me see my hands probably and uh, let's walk to the end here and uh, I'm gonna give it a little bounce a little spring in my step so that way we can see a little more shakiness and I got this little serious microphone so that way it's a more compact type of package and then I'm going to stop and turn. And again, it's on the GoPro 5. And I'm going to see about stabilizing that footage. And we'll see if that's possible in PowerDirector 17. Now, I'm sure if I got the GoPro 7, it would be uh, stabilized a lot better. But... Uh, I don't want to spend 350 bucks or $400 being I've already got a GoPro 5. I don't see a whole lot of difference in the video quality. Okay, let's head on over to PowerDirector and see what I come up with. Okay, I've set it up for what I'm guessing looks pretty good. Maybe I could bring it a little bit more out front here. Kind of point out in front of me. See my hands probably. And uh, let's walk to the end here. And uh, I'm going to give it a little bounce, a little spring in my step, so that way we can see a little more shakiness. And I've got this little serious microphone, so that way it's a more compact type of package. And then I'm going to stop and turn. And again, it's on the GoPro 5. And I'm going to see about stabilizing that footage. And we'll see if that's possible in PowerDirector 17. Now, I'm sure if I got the GoPro 7, it would be uh, stabilized a lot better. But uh, I don't want to spend 350 bucks or $400 being I've already got a GoPro 5. I don't see a whole lot of difference in the video quality. Okay, let's head on over to PowerDirector and see what I come up with. Okay, so in PowerDirector 17, how do we actually add the stabilization to it? And this is really easy to do. You'll see in this particular video as I'm going along, it really got a lot of jerking. You see that left and right as it's going? Now that makes it dizzy on the user, so we want to remove that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to click on the video, then I'm going to click on Fix and Enhance, and you'll see that right there. So we click that and then I get into this screen and on the left side we're going to see video stabilizer over there. That's what we want to click. So I put a check mark in there and now I can video stabilize. Now depending on how much you want we can move this arrow all the way over and give it a hundred percent but you'll notice and pay attention to the screen on the right as I do this. I'll shrink it down See how it moved out? I'll shrink it in. 
and you see how it basically zooms in and we're losing some of that so you got to think about that so when I'm kind of walking around with my GoPro I know I'm going to do this in post so I have to keep an idea that I'm not showing what's on the edge I want to show what's in the center of the camera most of the time and you'll notice I got fixed rotational camera shake and then I've also got use enhance stabilizer so if I come down here and let's give this a shot and see what that's fixed now that's fixed it pretty good that that really truly looks okay and I could just run on that if I wanted to I don't have all that jerkiness bouncing anymore now you can also go to use enhanced stabilizer now if you turn this stuff on you'll probably notice when you go to hit play that this screen starts to get choppy and uh, what I normally do when that happens is I'll just compile my video I'll just produce it and then I'll put it off to the side because then it's all done if I had LUTs or I do too much editing I'll just produce that section put it aside and work on another section and then I'll line them up but anyhow this is how you add video stabilization and I did it with a GoPro 5 you don't need no fancy camera you could go buy a used GoPro and save yourself some money and start stabilizing your video inside PowerDirector 17 at any rate guys I'll catch you guys on the next one.